Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. I just wanted to put out this little quick fix for people, just in case you get any issues with MAMP. Let's say, for example, you're using MAMP, right? And your computer shuts down because your battery ran out, you're on a laptop, etc., right? Anything could happen. Well, what happens is the database gets corrupted. And sometimes it's because you haven't really killed the process. So this is a quick fix. There's probably even a better way, but because this is local data and nobody really cares about the local data, what you could do is pretty much if it gets stuck and you're like at this, this point where you're like trying to start the server, but Apache shows up, but my SQL doesn't turn on. The easiest way that I found to deal with this is to pretty much come into your map folder right open up your application of map open inside of that that um that folder right open it up go to db go to mysql 56 find your ib log and pretty much delete all three of these okay when you delete that what's gonna happen is it's gonna force my map to actually create a brand new one and then there you go now you go you have map and everything running up again I mean this isn't the best fix because you are losing data but in reality it's an easier way um, than having to go in and and try to recover the data and do all the other stuff that you need to do I mean local data who cares it's like it's your local environment right most of this data usually you already have migrations for them this is just for you to just try it out and you're re most likely already have this in code so as soon as you run your code automatically it's going to populate the database anyways all right and then if you want you could check it again with sql pro click connect one thing that i notice is it still says game api and it might give you some errors you see this it might tell you that and my freeze your uh, your SQL but once again what you should do is come here move this to the trash and then stop server start it up again go to SQL okay you could do this with SQL Pro or whatever you like to use. Some people like to use Workbench. And as you can see, it's no longer there. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much a, a pretty quick tutorial. <laughs> I mean, hopefully somebody out there, I've seen this, like people ask this a million times. And I've noticed that uh, there's no answers for this on online. Like there's really no answers for it on how to fix this. Um, so pretty much this is like the easiest way that I found to just basically delete it manually and then start your server again. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye.